Salutations friends, welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be day 20 of my advent calendar, four more days to go. So if you want to see what's in today's little, little, little hidden area, what fragrance it is, and know what I thought of yesterday's fragrance, keep watching. Okay, I just opened this little guy, but I don't know what this little guy is, so let's see. Dun, da, da, da. Today is Royal Rose Oud. Royal Rose Oud. It's today's fragrance. Oh my god. Yes, this is a definite yes. I can tell you right now. I'm gonna have to see how this wears on me, but definitively yes. Okay, if you've watched my channel, you know Oud is one of my favorite favorite notes and fragrances. I love it. And I also love rose fragrances. I spend a fortune on rose fragrances and oud fragrances. So this smells like fresh rose, but it's got this woody undertone to it. It's so nice. I don't have anything like this. I have nothing like this. Nothing. This, this is going to be a problem. I'm gonna buy this. I'm probably gonna buy this after I'm done filming this video. I'm gonna have to wear this first though, but this is a definitive, definitively yes, absolutely. In fact, the fr fragrance I'm wearing right now just is not, doesn't have much longevity, so I will put some of you on now. Oh, this smells so good. Yes. <laughs> this is a yes. Notes in this real quick, because I got a little excited <laughs> when I smelled it. The top notes are black currant and saffron. The middle notes are rose and oud, and the base notes are sandalwood, white musk, and patchouli. I definitely get the rose and oud in this, and I think that the currant gives it this little bit of sweetness, but it doesn't make it so sweet to where it's like it covers up the scent of the rose and the oud. It kind of enhances it. It's really, really nice. After I've been wearing this for a few minutes now. After a few minutes, you start to get the patchouli, and which is really, really nice, and then you get the hint of musk, which kind of brightens it up a little bit. It doesn't make it too heavy. So this is really, really, really beautiful. I think this is going to be a definite buy because I can't stop smelling my arm, and that's how I can tell if I need to definitely buy something. I would say, based on how this smells and how it's interacting on my skin, this would be a fantastic daytime fragrance, especially if you're going shopping or if you're going out with friends or you're going on a, like an early date with somebody that you love. This is going to be a fantastic date night fragrance, but I think that the rose and the oud is substantial enough to make this really wonderful for like a casual evening. Like if you're going for drinks or you're going for like a late lunch or like a very informal dinner, I think this would be beautiful, beautiful for that. Like I said, I don't have anything that smells like this. I don't know why I'm pointing to my, my arm. I don't have anything that smells like this. This is really, really distinctive, but it's not like crazy smelling. It doesn't smell like something bizarre. It smells just really warm, but very crisp and floral, but not too heavy and woody. It's gorgeous. So this is a definite, definite buy. Yesterday's fragrance was really, really nice. Also, the sun's weird because it's coming down because it's late. Anyway, yesterday's fragrance was really, really nice too. Um, it was Royal Musca and it was the opening notes were like peach and berry and then it had this like woody undertone and this hint of musk and then the musk just kind of like after a few minutes just ba bam just comes out and it plays beautifully with the wood and the berries and the fruit it was beautiful it was really really nice it was very flattering my only issue is it didn't last very long on my skin it only lasted about two hours and that is a little unacceptable um, for me to purchase a fragrance. If I'm gonna spend that much money on a fragrance, because these are not cheap fragrances, do not get me wrong, they're not the most expensive fragrances I have bought or considered buying or already own, but they are definitely on the pricier, heavier on your wallet, hurting your bank account side. So if I'm gonna be purchasing one of these fragrances, I want to know that they are going to at least last four hours. And this one, I didn't do anything yesterday. I literally stayed in this little room because we're working on Christmas and we're trying to get all our Christmas orders in air conditioning and just packaged boxes and worked on the computer. So I didn't even go outside. I think I went outside for dinner. Like I literally stayed in this little cube 
for probably about 12 hours yesterday. And the fact, so the fact that the fragrance ended up wearing off after two hours, even if I was just sitting in here, air conditioned, comfortable, happy, um, is not something I would feel comfortable spending my money on because I need fragrances to last longer. My husband and I's schedule since we work from home, you would think that we have an open schedule and we do have a pretty easy schedule, except that we don't have a real schedule other than when our orders have to go out to the post office. Everything else that we do is pretty much last minute. We get calls from friends, let's go out for dinner right now, hey I'm coming over, you know like we go out to dinner, I have to run errands, everything is pretty much last minute. So I want to be able to put on a fragrance in the beginning or like mid-afternoon and have it at least last and smell like I put on a fragrance even if it's just a remnant just a little bit left closer to the evening because I'm not gonna have time to reapply and I'm not gonna remember to reapply and I don't like to carry fragrances in my purse I have a few fragrances that I carry with me that are like emergency fragrances and if I have a little sample of the fragrance that I use yes I'll put it in my pocket or in my purse but I don't have like atomizers of my hundred I think now my collections up to 110 bottles um, I just don't have the room for all the atomizers. So, I mean, I want the fragrances to last. I'm not going to carry a bottle with me. What if it opens up in my bag? I'm not like that. I don't do that. So, fragrances need to last on my skin, and unfortunately, this one did not. Now, I am going to wear it a few more times to see if maybe it was just that day. Sometimes, this is going to be weird if I'm stressed out, like my body chemistry changes. So this might have been just because it's right before season and I'm stressed out and so maybe my body's like, nothing on you, nothing, nothing, we hate you. It could very well be that. So as beautiful as it is and as much as I loved it, I'm definitely going to give it a second chance. But as of right now, I will not be purchasing it purely, purely based on the fact that it did not last on my skin. Now remember, everyone's different. Fragrances that last forever on me, some of you guys have said don't last on you at all. And fragrances that probably don't last on me might last on you guys at all. So based on how it smelled, I would definitely say buy it. It's gorgeous. But I will not be able to purchase it unless I try it a few more times and it lasts on my skin a lot longer than two hours. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. It lets me know to continue doing fragrance videos. I hope you guys like my fragrance videos. I know this specific series is one a day until the 24th, so I think I've got four more days, four more fragrances. Um, so remember to subscribe so you don't miss out on my content, especially if you're interested in this type of content. But liking this video lets me know to continue really doing fragrance videos, and I would love to do more fragrance videos for you guys. So remember to like it to let me know. Also, Hope you guys are happy and healthy. Have a great day, month, year, whatever. I am so tired. I'll finally be able to get some sleep in a few days. That's what I'm looking forward to for Christmas. I'm not looking forward to gifts. I'm looking forward to being able to sleep for a day. So yeah, I hope you guys are having a happy holidays. Hope you guys, if you're traveling, you have safe travels. If you're spending time with family, I hope you guys have a fantastic time. I will see you guys tomorrow with another one of these videos. And yeah, see you then.